Assalamu alaikum. Good morning, how are you today? Good very good, very good. All right, uh, today we're looking at a very important topic, and this has to do with getting your punctuation right. Uh, we're talking today about a common sort of writing problem that a lot of students uh, uh, have or make when they uh, write their sentences. And this is about not being able to write uh, or to punctuate sentences correctly. We're talking about two common uh, sentence problems, and these are run-on sentences and uh, comma splice uh, sentences. It's, a, it's an easy concept. It's not a very difficult concept to understand, but it's all about just writing uh, good punctuation, writing or punctuating your sentences correctly. What is a run-on sentence? It's basically uh, a sentence error caused by running uh, one sentence after another, for example. Let's just consider this example, for instance. We all like writing. We all love this class. We have two sentences, but there is no punctuation marks between them. So this is a kind of problem that we call a run-on sentence. That's to say one sentence running after another without any clear punctuation between them. And this is not correct. This is actually wrong punctuation. All right? We also have uh, another common sentence error, which is... Uh, uh, a comma splice, which is a different kind of punctuation problems, which is, let's just consider this example. We all like writing, comma, we all love this uh, class. What is wrong here is uh, that there are two sentences, but uh, there is only a comma, a poor little comma between them, and this is, uh, again, incorrect uh, punctuation. So, next time you're going to write sentences, we have to avoid these kinds, these kinds of run-on and comma splice uh, sentences. How can we solve uh, run-on and comma splice sentences? There are two easy ways to solve uh, or to fix run-on and comma splice sentences. The first one is to add a period. A period. Let's consider these examples. We all like writing full stop. Okay, yeah. we all love uh, this uh, class. Yeah. So we, it's an easy solution. It's just to put a comma to separate uh, the two so sentences. Uh, all right. Yeah. So we all like writing. We all love this uh, a class. All right. So what is? How can we fix this one? I received a letter. It was from my overseas friend. The solution is by putting a full stop uh, just uh, or a period between the two sentences. I received a letter full stop. It was from an, my overseas uh, a friend. Another example would be something like, my supervisor has been making a lot of changes, comma, she's really causing problems, problems to uh, I me. Mean, how can we fix it? Basically, we change the uh, comma into a full stop and this is the way to solve one way or the first way to solve comma splice and run on sentences basically replace uh, the comma with a full stop or just put uh, a full stop between the two run on sentences is this clear yes. all right this is solution number one we have a second solution which is uh, uh, basically we uh, add a connector one of the fanboys I told to you I told you about last time that is to say we add a sub a coordinating conjunction or uh, one of these groups for and nor but or yet yes, and so between the two sentences so that we can join them correctly and in the correct punctuation for example we all like writing comma and we all, we all love this class. So we fix the run-on sentence by adding a connector, by adding the coordinating conjunction and or any of these seven coordinators in the world of fanboys to correct the punctuation. Another example would be, I want a promotion. I want more vacation days. This is a run-on sentence. We can fix it by comma and I want a promotion and I want more vacation okay. So this is actually, oh, these are the two correct ways of uh, fixing run-on and comma splice uh, punctuation uh, problems. Let's see this example. Which one is the correct one? Men like to shop quickly, women like to browse. The correct way would be? 
They like to shop quickly, but women like to browse. So the solution here is by adding the connector or the coordinating word uh, to join the two sentences uh, correctly. Is this clear? Yes. But actually, it's not a very difficult concept to understand. Okay. How can we fix again? My this is one example. What is the problem here? Run one or comma splice. My best subject is English. My worst subject is computer science. It's a run on sentence. And here are the two ways of fixing them. A full stop or a comma. But uh, and we added the second sentence. All right. Okay. Excellent. All right. And this is the way to fix them uh, correctly. All right. Which is correct, do you think? Is it the first one or the second one in terms of punctuation and in terms of avoiding run on and comma splice problems? First or the second sentence is the correct? Yes, I agree with you. It is the second problem. All right. I have a back problem. So. I am usually go to a chiropractor. So we have here the correct punctuation. All right. So this is what we should punctuate all the time uh, correctly. All right. Let's see which one is the correct one. The first or the second the sentence? First. The, first. the first. Clearly, the yes. first sentence is the correct. Is the correct one. College is not like high school. Full stop. 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 It is a lot harder. Okay. Let's see the third question, the third example, which is the correct, the correctly punctuated sentence, the first one or the second one? Do you agree? Second one? Yes, the second one is the correct one. Tanya got an excellent grade on her test. Four. So one of the fanboys, comma, four. She studied really hard. Okay, the, third, the uh, next one, which is the correct punctuation of sentences. First one or the second one? Yes. Who says the first one? <laughs> it's not a threat. It's not a threat, actually. <laughs> it's actually the second one. Why? Because, for example, this is not the way we correct yes. or punctuate sentences using, for example, usually, for example, semicolon, yes. for example, yes. comma, or full stop, for example, comma. But the correct one is actually the second one. Okay? I've been given a number of the new duties. Full stop. And then we write the second sentence. I now have to do all the work or all the finding, filing myself. Okay? All right. Which is the correct one, the first or the second one? I think this is the last example. The second. Second? second? Yes. yes, it is the second one, which is the correct punctuation. Is this clear? Yes. All right. So whenever we find a run on sentence, which is basically two sentences, running after another without any punctuation between them or when we have only just a comma between two sentences then this is correct incorrect punctuation and we have to fix them either by adding a full stop or a comma this is the last exam here maria and john like tennis but karen doesn't maria and john like tennis karen doesn't clearly the first one is the correct punctuation is this clear yes all right Let's look first at our textbook before we do this exercise. Page 60. Page 60, please. And we're going to look at these sentences on page 60 and 61 and try to identify, to determine which sentence is the correct sentence, the correctly punctuated sentence, and which sentences are, are either run-on sentence or a uh, comma splice sentence and try to fix them either using either of the two ways run or sorry a uh, full stop or uh, using a connector
let's see. Let's see. Um, sentence number two. Number two. Yes, please. Mm -hmm. Um, kittens are cute, they uh, like to play. Kittens are cute and they like to play. Alright, so is this a correct sentence or a problem without the punctuation here? Yes. It's a comma splice, exactly. So how we fix it? Com the kittens are cute and, and they like to play. Very nice. And comma and they like to play and they like to play. Or oh, for the stop, they like. Okay, let's see. Number three. Yes. Dogs are good companions and mm. they can also protect you. This is correct. This is correct punctuation and these are two correct uh, and this is a correct sentence. Number four. Number four. Yes, please. At strangers. For dogs to bark at strangers. Very nice. But. Uh, very nice. So we have to. This is an unknown sentence. Yes. There's no punctuation between the two sentences, so fix it by adding a connector to it. Yes, please, Don. Protectors. It's a correct or a correctly punctuated sentence. Number six. Penguins. Yes, please. Penguins always be uh, they are good pets for people who like to go for fancy parties. It's a comma splice. It's a comma splice. Uh, comma, so. So, 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 so after the comma here, so they are good pets. Blah, 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 blah. Okay? So they are good pets because it's a comma splice problem here. Yes, please. A bad elephant can, can fly well, has ears and spray. You, you with uh, his trunk. You won't need air conditioning. Or so. Mm -hmm. It's a comma splice. Uh -huh. So we can say so because this is sort of a logical connector here. Uh, so you won't need a shower or air conditioning. All right. Yes, please. Goats eat. Your loan. Your loan. So it's a correctly punctuated sentence. All right. We see number nine. Yes. Number nine. Yes, please. A giraffe can really think on high uh, slopes, uh, uh, and it can see over the hills. Very nice. And it can. So we need uh, to fix it by adding, and it can see over the heads of people at parades. Yes, please. Also, okay. Both are correct. Uh, as logical uh, connectors here in this sentence. And finally, number 10. Number 10. Keeping a boa constructor as a pet if you enjoy uh, being alone, then no one will ever visit you. After, after alone, we can say then. All right. No one will ever saw. Or, or we can say and then or so then, or and then is the correct one. And then no one, it has to be comma, and then no one will ever visit you. you. Is this clear? Yes. All right, so this is uh, just about, all right, we've, we've got one more, one more exercise to do before moving to a new topic. All right, all right. Let's fix, let us fix this uh, one on and comma splice sentences, all right? Very quickly, please.
All right? All right. This should be easy ones. So you can either solve a comma splice or run on by adding a full stop between the two sentences or adding mm -hmm. one of these coordinators. Yes, please. Uh, the first, some people are friendly. Uh, full stop, uh, I like to talk... Uh, then, so we can... Uh, I like to no. And uh, also I like to talk today. Very nice. Math is a hot subject. You have to study every day. You say math is a hot subject. Mm -hmm. So you have to study so every day. So you have to study every day. All right. Over there, please. She went to the mall. She went to the very day. And comma and she went to the birthday party. Yes, please remember that. Tom delivered newspapers in the rain. Uh, so he so he got wet. very wet. so he got very wet. Very nice. Yes, please. Mm -hmm. On Monday we went outside for a short break. and it was comma and it was uh, or is it? It was uh, it was for the it was it was fun. All right. Six. Ah, yes, please. <laughs> and they ate too much, or but they ate too yes. much. But they ate too much. And finally, yes, yes please. The show begins at uh, seven thirty. Make sure you are there before seven uh, fifty. Fifteen. Uh, so. So make sure, Kona. You are so. Make sure you are there before 7.15, all right? Um, we have still time for one more exercise on this topic, and I'd like you to look at the sentences here and try to uh, find what sentences are considered comma splice or run-on sentences in this uh, paragraph. Please read very quickly and try to identify the run-on and comma splice sentences here. Finished? Sure. Yes, let's start. We'd like to start. Yes, please. Mm -hmm. My mother studied on a model and I work there as a young woman. So there is a problem here with the comma here. And yeah. I work there. Very nice. And I work there as a young Why? woman. What else? Yes, please. Uh, I enjoy doing this work very much. I met many interesting people. Comma. Uh, so I enjoy doing uh, I, I enjoyed doing this work very much. I met uh, 
Is there a problem here? Yeah. And yes. There is a run on here between yes. the two sentences. And we, there is no punctuation, so we can put a punctuation, put a stop, or a comma, and I enjoyed, or an and I met many interesting people. One time a family came to stay in the hotel. Problem? No. 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 They had a daughter, she was my age. And she, and she was. Uh, and she was my age. Alright, who would like to continue? We. We often, yes, you know. We often met and talked about our lives. Problem? No. No? no. Mm -hmm. I invited her to my house to meet my family. Mm -hmm. We shared our customs with her. With her. Later, my mother told me something unforgettable. All right. Problem? No. Mm -hmm. Yes, there is a problem. Where is it? All right. We shared our customs with her. Later, we, so we have two sentences here. Yes. And we need some punctuation here. All right. For the start. Later, we, uh, uh, later, my mother told me something unforgettable. She said, I know that you're going to live in America. My mother was a very smart woman. She was right. And she was right. Come on. And she was. And she was right. I came to America to search for my friend. For the stop, I'm still looking. So what we see here are some examples of run-on or comma splice sentences that we all the time need to fix them by adding a full stop or a, a, a coordinate. There are three more ways, but we'll talk about them later on. Is this clear? Yes. All right. Now, let's move on to something else which has to do with the capitalization. All right? It's about using uh, capital letters, all right? When do I use capital letters? All right, when way is by? Okay, whenever I begin on a sentence, I have to capitalize the first letter of the first word. So I capitalize the beginning of sentences. Anything else? Yes, please. Names. names. Okay, proper names, we, uh, uh, proper nouns, we capitalize them. Anything else? Country. Yes, please. Famous places. Oh, very nice. What else? The first word uh, in a sentence. The first word in a sentence. Very nice. And? Nationalities, religions, languages, and so on. And? Abbreviations or acronyms. Very, very nice. All right. Let's just go over them. And just to remind you, if you forgot any of these rules, on when I capitalize words. All right? All right. Correct. Alright, so it is the first word in a sentence. Names of people, places, and things or specific things that we refer to. Titles of books, of magazines, of, and so on. Uh, and days and months. Okay, well, let's just have some examples to illustrate these ideas. So the easiest rule is... Uh, whenever I start a sentence, I have to capitalize it. Okay, this might be something... Uh, Negligible, something that some some students forget, but always make sure that you capitalize your sentence. the beginning of your sentences. Okay. For example, he went for store for the store for men or wait or there is the book you must so capitalize the first uh, the beginning of the sentence with a capital letter. All right. Another example is capitalize a proper no. nouns. Okay, for example, Georgia, Washington. Washington, for example, or also the names of specific places or specific things. For example, New York, state, Gaza, city, all right? Disneyland, winter, Olympics are all capitalized because they are either specific places or specific things, all right? Also capitalize titles of books, of magazines, of articles, of movies, and, and so on. For example, good night to notice that we capitalize the two words, okay? Or finding Nemo. Or local team goes to state finance. finance. Notice here the last one, the last title or headline. Why did I not capitalize to? Preposition. Because it's a preposition, and also it's a preposition that is less than, fewer than four letters. So any preposition that is fewer than three, le four letters, then we don't uh, 
capitalized. Capital. So a word like in is not capitalized in titles. A word like at is not capitalized in uh, titles because it is less than three or four letters. All right. Okay. So let's see. Alice adventures in Wonderland. Wonderland. Notice that the N here is not uh, capitalized. capitalized in this uh, title because it's uh, fewer than four letters. Okay. All right. All right. And finally, we capitalize days and uh, months. For example, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and so on. And of course, months July, uh, August, September, February are all also. Uh, capitalized, all right, but not uh, seasons, not the four seasons that we know winter, spring, uh, autumn, and uh, summer are not capitalized unless they are part of the proper name. For example, the fall festival, the autumn festival, it's part of the name, so it is in this case uh, capitalized, all right, or when they begin, of course, the sentence. It is also another case of capitalizing seasons. Is this clear? Yes. All right. All right. Now let's do the exercise here first. Try to capitalize where necessary before we move on to talk about the exercise in your textbook. So capitalize where necessary in these uh, sentences. You may, you may take some notes, of course. All right? Yes. All right. Very nice. Yes, please. The first one. Uh, you really only have one good chance to get an education. We capitalize... We capitalize the Y in you because it is the beginning of a sentence. Very nice. Yes, please. Uh -huh. Going to the park with my friends, Kathy and Bart, uh, we capitalize the... Kathy and Bart. Very nice, because they are proper names. Okay? Kathy and Bart. Okay? Yes, please. Class class includes American history, Spanish, English, and math. Values are. Uh, Whole is capital letter. And American history. Okay. Spanish, language, English. And English because they are names of. But no, it's not uh, capitalized because it's, it's a common noun, not, uh, uh, not the name of, an, uh, of a language or a. Uh, uh, or a nationality. Yes, please. Chicago River uh, ran into the Mississippi Valley waterway. The Chicago capital uh, Chicago River. River. And uh, the Missi Mississippi, Mississippi Valley. Valley. Very nice water. Waterway is not capitalized. Okay. All right, because this is the name of a specific place that we can find on the map. So it is uh, capitalized. Yes, please. This is uh, Clark. Clark. Venus, Mrs. The M is capitalized, and Clark, and and ask it Amel, so Amel is capitalized yes. in proper name. Yes, please. Uncle Luke took us to Texas. Texas. Mm -hmm. uh, R capital letter. The U K is capital letter. Rob. And uh, Texas, very nice. And Texas is also a name of a place. Yes, please. My aunt and I picked up the papers. L M. My and I. Very nice. My and, and I picked up 
the papers. And finally, she's so Snow White. Yes, please. She's so Snow White with, uh, when she was mm -hmm. five years old. She. She. Snow White. Snow White. Snow White. Snow White. <laughs> when she was first. So it's the name of a cartoon or a film. Okay. Uh, All right, is this clear? Uh, number three, why uh, we didn't capitalize math? Man, because it's not a, uh, it's just a subject. It's not a name of a subject like English or Spanish or anything like this. This is something that we need to look at on page 16 in your page. All right? All right, let's see, just a quick review of these rules before we move on to talk about the last, do the last exercise. Let's see, number one is... Capitalize the first word in a sentence, like my neighbor is a mechanic. The pronoun I is always capitalized. Some students forget to capitalize I. It's always capitalized regardless of where it is. And number three, names of people and their titles. For example, King Abdullah, the second line. Notice that King is capitalized and Abdullah is capitalized. We're talking about page 16. Yes. All right. And President Putin, P is capital, P is also another capital. Professor Indiana Jones, so notice that the title Professor is capitalized, and also Indiana Jones is also capitalized. Notice not a name, not a title without a name. A name. For example, King, A King is not capitalized yes. because it is not followed by a name, all right? Have you met a Yurna? Professor. Awesome. Professor is uh, not capitalized because it's a title without a name also. But notice sometimes if the title refers to a specific person, we capitalize. For example, the president, P here is the president of the United States, the president of Palestine, P here is capitalized because it refers to only a specific person and therefore we capitalize the P. Is this clear? Yes. Yes. Nationalities, we know this. Nationalities, relig languages, religions and ethnic groups are always capitalized. For example, Jewish, Christian, Muslim, Hispanic, Swedish, English, Palestinian are always capitalized. Names of the school courses with numbers. numbers, for example, psychology 101, for example, but not history because it's not followed by a number. Math is not capitalized because it is not followed by a number, it's just a subject. And physics, all right? Not but physics 352 is capitalized. History 101 and Russian. History, notice that history here is not uh, capitalized, but Russian is capitalized because it is uh, a name of uh, a nationality. And finally, specific places that you can find on uh, the map you have to capitalize. Is this clear? Yes. yes. Now, let's finish with this last exercise on page 18. And that paragraph on Nelson Mandela, I'd like you to capitalize where necessary. All right? Very quickly, please.
All right. Let's see. All right. Um. Um. Yes, please. Mm -hmm. My name is Nelson Mandela, and I have uh, had an unusual life. Okay. Uh, we capitalized the uh, my. The M in my. Very nice. And, and, uh, and in this song, Nelson Mandela. 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 All right. And Hello. I have and um, have had an unusual life. Yes, please. Mm -hmm. I have been both a prisoner and a resident in my country. We capitalize I. I have been both. A Hold on a sec, just just to fix yes, up this yeah. thing. Sorry, all right. Now it's clear now. I have been both a, a prisoner and a uh, president in my. Is a president yet capitalized? No, no, no because it does no, not no, does not refer to a specific person. It's an indefinite now, yes. not a definite now. Yes, please. Very nice. Uh, I was born in 1980. I was born in 1980. South Africa is capitalized because it refers to a specific location. Very good. All right, yes, please. My father, Henry Mandela, was mine. My Henry and Mandela was the chief of our was the chief of our tribe. There's no capitalization here. And a child, a child I took care of their family, cattle, and goats. All right. Mm -hmm. Yes, please. When I grew up, I decided to become a lawyer. Mm -hmm. This seemed to be a good way to help my people. After I became a lawyer, I became the leader of a group of young Africans. Africans is capitalized. It's a nationality who wanted to change the system of discrimination in our country. Because, because of my political activities, I, 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 I went to prison for 27 years. Mm -hmm. right. The present, very good, was on a poor man the island. Is island capitalized here? No, it is not a specific location. Very good. In the Atlantic Ocean are capitalized. However, very good. The world did not forget about me. I received. Very good. I received important visitors of wars and from all over the world. I also learned also learned Afrikaans. It's the name of a language, which is hold on a sec. I which is hold on a sec. Alright, I also learned Afrikaans, which is the language of white South Africans. Right. Capital letter white okay. South Africans. Of course, I, speak I also speak English, English and, and Posa. Yes. Posa, which is also a name of a language. Yes. Alright? Posa, which is the language of my tribe. Okay. In 1990, I, I was set free. I became the President of South Africa. Specific place. Yes. I became the president of South Africa, Africa in 1994. During my time in office, I tried to bring peace. Very good. I tried to bring peace, you democracy, and prosperity to all of my country people. And I now I am, I am, I am retired. retired for the stop. All right. Is this clear? Yes. So what we see here are examples of when to use. Uh, capitalization. There are some rules that we just apply in this respect. So from now on, please pay attention whenever you write to capitalize according to these rules that we just uh, applied and studied. All right. Thank you very much, and see you next time, inshallah. Thank you.